Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? I might have found the first sighting of mangroves in the desert. But also you may ask, why is there mangroves in the middle of the desert? Well, I'm actually not in the middle of the desert. In fact, I am in Mazar City, as you can see right behind me right there. Which, if you are familiar with Abu Dhabi, it is located right across from the Abu Dhabi airport. But let's get back to the story. Why the hell do we have mangroves in the middle of Mazar City? Well, I have a friend that's going to explain a tiny bit about it. Hi, my name is Jose. I work as a research engineer at Khalifa University. And we are here at the Seawater Energy and Agriculture System, which is basically a system where we grow fish and shrimp for human consumption. While they grow, they, while the fish and shrimp grow, they generate waste that goes into this water. So we use this weight, uh, diluted waste in the water, to irrigate and fertilize a crop, uh, which is a halophyte. Uh, it, a halophyte is a plant that can be irrigated with seawater and we grow it for the purpose of obtaining biofuel. After the plants have been irrigated, they pass uh, through the mangroves, which act as a final filter uh, to basically clean the water and sequester some, some carbon uh, as trees do. The reason th this project is important is because normally when, when people talk about biofuels, they immediately they think sugarcane or they, they think corn or other types of uh, feedstocks that require fresh water and arable land, uh, which is the main point of this project. We are doing, uh, we're growing this halophyte plant in non-arable land and using uh, seawater. And so Jose showed me a couple of uh, samples of the project and how, you know, the different levels that it goes through. First, they collect the crops, meaning they sell a cornea, right? Yes, uh, after that we basically dry out the, the, the plant, we crush it, we separate the straw from the seed uh, fraction and then we mechanically press the, the seed to obtain the oil and this oil is what gets refined into uh, jet fuel or synthetic paraphyric kerosene. So yeah, what you see right now is this clear jet fuel that is processed by uh, Adnoc, yes. like the company. and. Uh, then from there you can def you can basically use it as a biofuel, meaning you can supply a uh, airplane with that fuel. So in January of this year, in January 15, we had the very first flight using this synthetic paraphyric kerosene, which was blended uh, in one of Etihad, uh, Etihad's airplanes, which is one of the of the main partners of the consortium. It was a flight that went from here. To, to Amsterdam. It was a token amount as a proof of concept. Uh, it was a significant milestone and now we are in the process of scaling this concept up a hundred times to 200 hectares that will be located in the western region of Abu Dhabi in a coastal site. So what that all means is that it's a revolutionary thinking, you know, it's going from uh, what is what was impossible maybe a couple of years ago to making it actually possible. But that is about it ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the day with Abdul. I'll see you guys on the next one.